Uh, greetings one and all. Welcome back to the kitchen here today. So today I'm going to be making ladu, ladus, which is a uh, much loved uh, Indian sweet, often had around for special occasions, uh, festivals, uh, Hindu celebrations, uh, particularly around that fantastic uh, time and celebration of Diwali, which um, I've had the fortune to partake in, both in India and in Fiji, of course, with many Fijians there being of Indian descent. So this is uh, basically a chickpea flour based dessert. And the first thing I'm going to do is sift some of my chickpea flour. Um, part of the reason I'm making this is um, some of you might have seen me foraging around the kitchen when I was stuck at home there a little while back and I did find these packets of chickpea flour which I hadn't used for a while and I did eventually get to go to the supermarket as you've seen but um, to my surprise you can't buy the shelves were empty as far as uh, wheat flour there was no plain flour wholemeal flour self-raising flour no wheat flour whatsoever so I thought oh well I've got that chickpea flour at home let's use it all right enough waffling on let's make our ladoos alrighty so I've sifted that flour now um, now this is a I should have said at the outset, super, super easy recipe. Um, hardly any ingredients. Slightly labour intensive, this method I'm using anyway. Um, so it's a, what you lose on the swings, you get on the roundabout sort of thing. There are more complicated ways to make it. Um, that are less labour intensive, but anyway, this is the best way to make it, I find, in our home kitchen. So on a medium heat, low to medium heat, I've just got here half a cup of ghee and it's already half melted so my job's <laughs> already sort of half done anyway but we're just going to melt that in my Matty Boom Boom wok here and that won't take long alrighty like I said it didn't take long it's about 15 seconds later um, my ghee's melted so now I'm going to take that two cups of sifted flour now like I say you measure the two cups after it's been sifted and just going to dump that in now this is the basis of our ladoos and what we're going to do now is just stir that flour into that ghee and watch it get all clumpy and lumpy and you're going what the hell this isn't going to work at all move that handle this way so I can hold it a bit better and what you basically do is you just keep stirring this and like I say it looks like you need to add more liquid but trust me you just keep moving it around keep stirring it and eventually it all gets mixed in and starts to sort of dissolve and You'll see, I'll jump forward to that because we're talking here a good um, 25 minutes to 30 minutes I'm going to be stirring this and there's no getting around that. Uh, well, <laughs> many of us are under um, home isolation so it's a great time to make dishes like this. So at the same time as mixing that through we're also cooking that flour and that's very very important. We don't want raw sort of flour in our finished ladoos doesn't taste very good and nor do we want it to burn so yeah that's why it's taken so long low to medium heat keep stirring and I'll get back to you So guys, I've been stirring this away now for about um, 15 minutes. 
really being reasonably attentive to it. Like, don't. That's not one to walk away from and sit down. Um, but as you can see, all of a sudden you're banging away for about 10 minutes and you just think, what am I doing? I need to add some liquid to this. And that just magically starts forming into like a paste, a runnier paste. And that's like I say, that starts happening after about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, as it's turned into a paste, we do need to keep cooking this probably for another 10 minutes. Let's say. As I say, we want that um, chickpea flour completely cooked. Alrighty guys, so it's about 10 minutes later. I've kept stirring my um, mixture here. As you can see, it's starting to get really, that paste is really starting to thin out. Now at this stage, I've just turned the heat off. Um, what we need to do is let this mixture cool down before we add our sweetener. Now, just while it's cooling down, we can also add about half a teaspoon of ground cardamom. And that's coming out very slowly, so it looks like I'm putting more in than half a teaspoon, but I'm actually not, so that's it. So just stir that in while it's still warm. Now, you can do a couple of, um, you can let it cool down in the pan you've um, cooked it in. Just bear in mind if you do that, you're going to need to keep stirring it as the pan cools down, otherwise if it just sits there, without you stirring it, there's a chance it might burn. So what I'm going to do, once I've stirred that cardamom in, just transfer it to a cool bowl. So I'm going to sit down and relax for 20 minutes while it cools down. It's all about easy and delicious. This is on the easy, even though it looks a bit labour intensive. It's actually quite beauty. Like I say, I'm just going to get that all in there. And leave it sit out. Just for 20 minutes or so. Or however long it takes. Um, because what we don't want to do is add the sugar to it while it's hot. Alrighty, so my... Um, yeah, Bessan. I keep saying Bessan. Well, that's the Indian name for chickpea flour is Bessan, so it's correct. So my Bessan stroke chickpea mixture there has cooled down. So to that, I'm now going to add one cup of sugar. And I've got caster sugar here. Now, ideally, the sugar of choice would be powdered sugar. I haven't got that, so we'll see how the caster food goes, I think it should work alright. <clears throat> now optional extras, before we started I did dry roast. A heap of slivered almonds and I'm just going to use probably, not too many, probably about a tablespoon of those like so and I'll reserve a few of them for um, for garnishing and another optional extra I've got here just yeah about a tablespoon of sultanas that can go in too now mix that sugar and the nuts and everything thoroughly into that and I'm not gonna lie it's, it's another bit of a hard job here you just gotta get stuck into it and stiffen up your wrists, loosen them up, whatever helps, and just get to it. Alrighty, so I've mixed up that sugar and nuts and sultanas thoroughly into that best hand mixture. So now I've just thoroughly washed my hands, of course. Um, I mean, you always wash your hands anyway, but anyone who's not washing their hands <laughs> when they're dealing with food at the moment is crazy, speaking as a nurse. All right, let's get on with it. So you can sort of make any size. What we're going to do is make balls now. 
need a mic. Any size you want. Like this is ready to eat pretty well as it is. The most common sort of, I've sort of mostly seen them sort of around such and such a size, so just fitting in yeah, those first three fingers like that and we'll just sit them on a plate and like I say I'll just get some of my roasted almonds and just sit them on top even though they're already mixed through it just basically as a garnish poke them in a bit and yeah, repeat Alrighty, so I've got my Ladoos here, ready to taste. Uh, yeah, I just put them in the fridge for a little while. Just, uh, they were right to eat, but yeah, just to sort of uh, let them solidify a little bit more. And yeah, they're looking really good. Now, sometimes you might see these and they're a real bright yellow colour. That's because quite often um, in India especially, they'll add food colouring. So obviously I didn't do that to mine. I like the colour natural, but yeah, do that if you want to. So I might as well taste one. I'm not going to wait to Diwali. Diwali's generally sort of around November, so um, yeah, just have a close up. And try a bite. Yummy as absolutely delicious. Mm. Focus for me. There we go. It's absolutely delicious. Really, really yummy. Just how um I remember them tasting. Very sweet, as you can imagine. <laughs> that cup of sugar in that mixture. They're supposed to be sweet. They're a treat. They're a I don't know, you bring them out for a celebration and yum. Very, very happy with those guys. Alrighty, thanks for watching as always. Uh, thanks if you've subscribed to the channel already, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, can you hit that subscribe button for me? That'd be great. Yeah, they're ticking over very, very slowly. <laughs> but that's alright. If you don't want to subscribe or anything like that, um, no worries. Um, I'm going to keep making these videos, I enjoy it, especially <laughs> especially food like these, that's just great. Alrighty, I'll see you all next time.